today's uh, video is regarding with the French Revolution. So we are going to, in this video, we are going to you know, look after the part one of the French Revolution, that is the historical background, the importance, and also the causes of the French Revolution. In the part two video, we are going to say about the National Assembly, the causes of the French Revolution, the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. So first of all, I want to tell you what is the meaning of French Revolution. You take the word revolution. A revolution, Tamil Correct. So a revolution is not a change. A revolution demands for fundamental change in the system. So revolution the silent revolution, violent revolution. You take industrial revolution, it is a silent revolution. You take the French Revolution or the American War of Independence or the Russian Revolution, the violent revolution of the So the French Revolution, you know, it was uh, took place in the year of uh, 1789, and uh, it is one of the greatest events that happened in the history. So what how it is? So in this topics, we are going to cover the French Revolution importance, the old regime, the French society, economy, and all the Bourbon dynasty. The Bourbons were the one who rules the France and the long term and the short term causes of the French Revolution and the emergence of the National Assembly. As I said before, the course of the revolution and the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte, we are going to cover in the part two of the French Revolution. So if you look at the previous UPSC means questions, in the year of 2019, there was a question which says about, uh, you know, explanation how, explain how the foundation of the modern world was laid by the American and also the French Revolution. So this itself uh, which shows you, you know, the importance of French Revolution. And this uh, uh, French Revolution topic will be covering in your uh, GS1, that is GS first paper, World History Part. Okay, fine. So, importance. Why and uh, <clears throat> how? The French Revolution, why it has got so much of importance? I hope you know about the importance of the French Revolution. The French Revolution opened a new chapter in the history of Europe. It was the one responsible, it took the responsible for the end of absolute monarchy, feudal laws and social inequality. Absolute monarchy, monarchy, Feudal laws of the Nila Prabhutavam Okay. The revolution rejected tyranny, divine rights of the king, and also the conservatism. This is all we are going to see one by one. So it has given an idea of republicanism based on liberty, equality, fraternity. French Revolution or theme liberty, equality, and fraternity in Silvam. Sudandiram, Sama Urime, Sagundratva. So even our Indian preamble holds the ideals of French Revolution. You take our Indian preamble, the preface of the Indian Constitution, justice, liberty, equality, fraternity, and solidarity. This is where we got from the French Revolution. You take fundamental rights. You take our directive principles of the state policy. the French Revolution. French Revolution is ideology. So ideological wise, French Revolution it has created so many impact on the. So. Now we are going deep into the concept. <clears throat> if you take into the old regime or the ancient regime in France, the old regime of the France is nothing but the socio-political system which existed in the Europe during the 18th century or even before. The countries were ruled by absolutism. Absolutism is nothing but a monarch or mannan. Our kitana yella authority or yella power me Okay, it's simple like a dictatorship. The monarch had the absolute control over the government. The classes of the people, they were all, you know, they were all divided into privileged and also unprivileged people. So the privileged people were the one who did not pay the taxes and treated well, whereas the unprivileged people were the one who paid taxes, but they were all treated badly. So this is the condition of the system that existed before in Europe, not only in France, in Europe, before the 18th century. Okay, so this is the, this image is uh, nothing but a French lady entering into a Syrian chair. You, you can see how much of gauche, how much of lavishness, how much of, uh, you know, so or a or a perfect example. And uh, this is the map of uh, 
you know, uh, France or the countries in Europe. So before, that is 18th century or even before, you, you can see there is no republicanism or there is no, okay, a democratic system existed there everywhere. Everywhere you can see the kingdom of Spain, the kingdom of France, the kingdom of Hungary, the kingdom of Poland, the Russian Empire, the British Empire. So the, the Europe was ruled by so many monarchs. So it was during this time period, okay, how the society under the old regime. In France, the people were divided into three estates. First estate, second estate, third estate. The first estate consists of high-ranking members of the church. Clergy and so Bishops, popes, they enjoyed absolute, you know, absolute power. The second estate consists of the nobles. Nobles are the generals or the bureaucrats. The third estate consists of everyone. The third estate consists of peasants in the countryside to the wealthy bourgeois. And the Varthi meaning a bourgeois in the Its spelling is bourgeois. The bourgeois are the, you know, some of the wealthy merchants in the cities. Okay, so they were all the one who follow the merchantilism. So they also considered to be an unprivileged class. So they were all the one really paying the taxes to the government. Okay, but they comes under the unprivileged classes. So if you look at the three estate, this particular tablet column will explain you. The first estate consists of the people, 1,30,000 people. They were all the high rank, high ranking clergy. You know the privileges, they collected titi. Titi is nothing but a tax. It's a church tax. A censorship of the press. Control of education. So birth, death, marriages and also everything. And the privilege are the first estate. The exemptions are not, they no need to pay any taxes and the burdens, moral obligations rather than legal obligations. That's why we say, if you are not legal system. Okay, it is just for namesake. Okay, the second, uh, you see the second class, they were you know, less than, okay, 1 lakh, 1 lakh 10,000 people, they collected taxes in the form of feudal dues. Uh, they monopolized military and also state appointments. They also owned 20 percentage of the lands. So they were all the military administrators. If you take if you take India, if you take India, you you take India, you take India, you take Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, Dindra, in France, there are two classes. First class, second class and also third class. First estate, second estate, third estate. The second estate consists of the, you know, the rulers or the nobles. Even though no taxes pay for the but they supported for the monarchy and also the old regime. The third estate, if you look at it, their population was more than 25 lakhs. Everyone is artisans, bourgeois, city workers, merchants and who else not. Okay, even they had no privileges, they have no exceptions, but you see all the types of taxes they have to pay. They pay all the taxes like the titi. Titi is nothing but the church tax. They have to pay a tax called octrot. They have to pay, you know, so many taxes actually. Okay, so in the Mari Naraya, even poll tax, capitation tax, you know, in the France, they have taxes. Tax pay upon a vending area, third estate. What does this contemporary political cartoon say about the condition in France? If you look at the diagram, you can see the diagram. 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 You can see the So, you can see the diagram. So, you can see the The government untold the old region was a concept called the divine rights of the king. That is the divine rights of the king. Because they were all the representative of the, the same Kadavul or God. This is the divine So, the ruler can use all his arbitrary power to do anything. That's the The God put the world in motion. The God put some people in position of power. 
power is given by the God. No one can question the God. No one can question someone put in power by the God. If questioning the monarchy was a blast bird as questioning the God. So, you monarchy or a man who is 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 a man who enjoys the ultimate you know, power. For example, he appointed the intendants. Intendants are nothing but Anni ki France vandu paakam. Bulu the 30 district of Pritchar paanga. Inni ki nama IAS officers and soldier maari. Anni ki the king na vandu paakam. Bulu the okay. And the 30 districts yin yaar rule paano no. Avdi in solita mudi paana. He appointed the people who could collect taxes and carry out the laws. Yes. Okay. Apo paaran ya. Revenue control and king control adar. So he controlled justice by appointing judges. Judicial control and king control adar. He controlled the military. Military control and king control other. He could imprison any person at any time for the reason. For any reason, the black warrants of arrest were called letters de catched everything. So a king he can use his arbitrary power. Yaro de Vitugum Poi Yendo Karnati Soli Panda Manika or Adicha. Okay, call up a sailor, Yar make a mutia. So he levied all the taxes and decided how to spend the money. So financial control and king control. He made all the laws. So he made all the decisions. So already the king was enjoying supreme power. In addition to all those things, the king, okay, he is considered to be a divine. This is what we call it as the divine rights of the king. So France So how was the economical condition of the France? The France economy was based primarily on agriculture. Please remember the peasants, farmers of the France bore the burden of taxation. The poor harvest means the peasants had trouble paying their regular taxes. So, rumba simple ana or vishayam ungalukku na solla. Enna appadina when a country was in a burden of heavy taxation, it is going to be a disaster for the country. Okay, nalla purinjukonga. Veerai thuligalukku vidha eduthal dhan avargalal indha samudayam pannir thuligalai parisaga peramudiyum nu solla or kodi pamicha solluvar actually. Or naatta romba mukkiyamaana or section yaarana vivasaayigal. விவசாயிகளுடையா முன்னேற்றத்துக்கு ஒரு கவர்மெண்ட் எப்பயுமே இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் கொடுக்கணும் ஒரு நாட்டில் பசி பஞ்சம் வருதுன்னா அதுக்கு நீங்கள் இயற்கையே காரணம் சொல்ல முடியாது யூ கேனாட் பிளேம் நேச்சர் ஓகே இப்போ டூ இயர்ஸ் வந்து பார்க்கும்பொழுது மான்சூன் ஃபெயிலியர் ஆகுது அப்படின்னா யூ கேனாட் பிளேம் த நேச்சர் யா நேச்சர் மே பி ரீசன் பட் அ கவர்மெண்ட் ஷுட் இன்வெஸ்ட் இன் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ஸோ வேன் அ கவர்மெண்ட் ஷுட் அ கவர்மெண்ட் ஷுட் டேக் கேர் ஆஃப் இட்ஸ் பீப்புள் அ கவர்மெண்ட் அதாவது அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ஏன் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபுட் செக்யூரிட்டி So, agriculture can you investment in agriculture, then you can invest in agriculture, then you can invest in food insecurity. This is the logic. So, in the France economy was raining, but agriculture was not given much importance. The bourgeois were often managed to gather wealth, but they were all upset. Why the bourgeois were so upset in the sense? They have to get the burden of paying heavy taxes. So, France is bankrupt like uh, the Louis XVI lavished, French Revolution and the France was a ruler of no? Louis XVI. He lavishly spent money on himself and uh, residences like Versailles. Versailles is like a, it's a, it's a, like a fort, a court, a building. So, after me, the deluge, it was the Louis XV, the father of Louis XVI. He foretold that, that was the father of Louis XVI. He foretold that, France on the park and the rumbo deteriorating condition of weight return the rumbo large visha spent for another in a France. You know, the after means the due to Jenna Kaparma, I'd be here for the kind of Satya Kodal Wunder. But Louis XVI was never considered about all those things. So, look on a wife. So, look on the princess of Austria and she was the queen of, you know, the France, Mary Antoinette. She was seen as a waste school splinter. So, the government found its funds depleted as a result of wars. Yeah, in the time period, American War of Independence, France was giving support. And French Revolution, Munadi, India, or the Karnatic War, not only to the Chayyadu, but France was the Pakam, but the Adigamba. Fund to Kurtu Trindanga, and also there was a concept of deficit spending was there. A government spending more money than it takes in the form of tax revenue. Baruva, I read Adigama Salavi Nangal Kapojna, are the deficit spending no solitus alone. So, France, in the Mari conditions, were not under the Chip. So, the privileged classes. Would not submit to, you know, you know, subject to a tax. So, like, on a privileged, privileged section, so, like, who are tax pay for that. So, they were all, you know, neglected. So, in the Mari Vishengal, and the next part, thing I have seen is the Palace of Versailles. Okay, background, I have seen that. So, 
the French Revolution, when the, when the country was bankrupt, it was the it was the building that was built out of the taxes paid by the people. And she was uh, Mary Antoinette, and uh, Mary Antoinette and his uh, you know, sons, children. So philosophy of the age, philosophy, nalla purujigno. French Revolution narakar dekho, meka mukhya mana or karan na mena na it was the Enlightenment ideas. Or samudaya til purachi year pada vendo mentral, naatto makkalin marane le yehi, naatin tattu vani ani gal matra vendo mana sulwa. Apo Enlightenment narakar dekho, nalla purujigno. Renaissance time period narakar dekho. So Renaissance time period ka parma Enlightenment abdin sulwa kodiya concept you know varar meka. Okay, nare ya you know uh, Rousseau, Montesquieu, you know, yevvalo mo enlightenment thinkers vara aramikra. Rational thinking, giving importance for science and technology, logic, so analytical thinking. Okay, in the mari every things started to come. This is what I mentioned. The scientists during the Renaissance had discovered laws that govern the natural world. The intellectuals, the philosophers began to ask if natural laws might also apply to human beings. They know beauty apina, particularly to the human institutions such as government. Before Okay, before, before the government is considered to be so supreme, the ruler is considered to be so supreme, but now come to understanding, okay, that it is for the rulers, only for the peoples. government. Okay, so in the Mari Vishengal Vararamikar, Yadakape, Ye Abdin Rakons of the Koshin Kekarmikra, the philosophers were so secular in the thinking, they used the reason and logic rather than the faith, religion, and superstition. To answer any important question, so more than ambiguity will be not a program. In the time period, they use science and science and technology. They use logic. So in the Mari Karnangalala, you know, they were all the one who questions the divine rights of the king. So finally, if you check it out, the long term and short term causes for depression. You can see, okay, absolutism is the reason for this unjust social political regime, the poor harvest, which left peasant farmers with a little money. For taxes, the influence of the Enlightenment philosophers, system of mercantilism, influence of other successful revolutions like the England, the Glorial Revolution, and also the American Revolution. What is the system of mercantilism which restricted trade of dinner? There is a basic difference between British East India Company and also French East India Company. British government with the French government. The British East India Company for their every administrative and financial decisions, they no need to depend on their masters. Whereas the French East India Company, for their every administrative and financial decisions, they have to depend on their masters. British government, British would have trade like interfere in our policy. Independence trade policy, license fair policy, but French government up to French government, French trade, French East India Company, all of them are involved in the trade. So, I'm going to tell you about this. So, there are a lot of long-term causes of the French Revolution. Short term causes of the French Revolution, it was the immediate cause was the bankruptcy. Okay, bankruptcy in Rudhu Nard Diwala. Okay, not today Purla Dharam Diwala, the deficit spending. And uh, in the Purla Dharam Diwala, the Pogodan Sulada already France, la, France, or the finance ministers like Turgot, Necker, even the Elame proposed Pana. Okay, but these proposals were rejected by the ruling classes. And the greatest fear is what up in the worst famine in the memory, the hungry impoverished peasants feared that the nobles at the estate general were seeking greater privileges attacks on the nobles occurred throughout the country in 1789 whenever the country was being you know you know, law and order issue. That is the primary reason why I am telling you about it. But Dakoyke is the only one who is doing it. You know, it is an unprivileged section. They are the only one who is doing it. They are the only one who is doing it. They are the only one who is doing it. Law and order issue. This is the only condition in France. So, in France, you know, the worst famine and also hungry. So, you know, the worst famine and also hungry. So, you know, the government is involved in the government. So government involved in the Mari or tension in the Mari country when it was facing so much of tensions. This fellow, Louis XVI, he had no other way to call the estate general's meeting. When up under Nasari, okay, Wanga, I'm a Pesala, Prince of the Estate General meeting in the Kumadi 1614 and others. 1614 common era. I'm a particular 1789. How much of difference? So estate general meeting on the park, what do they call Pandra? Say Wanga, Pesala, Prince of the Ah, 
இந்த எஸ்டேட் ஜெனரல் மீட்டிங் உடைய இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் என்னன்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு தெரியணும் ஓகே இந்த எஸ்டேட் ஜெனரல் மீட்டிங் நீங்க எடுத்துக்கிட்டீங்கனாலே இந்த பாருங்க தேர் இஸ் அட்ராஜி த ஓட்டிங் வாஸ் கண்டக்டட் பை எஸ்டேட் பிரான்ஸ்ல எந்த விதமான பிரச்சனை அப்படின்னா இந்த எஸ்டேட் ஜெனரல் மீட்டிங் மூலியமா தான் முடிவு எடுப்பாங்க டிசிஷன் எடுப்பாங்க ஓகே அப்ப பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒவ்வொரு எஸ்டேட் இப்ப ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் தர்ஸ்ட் எஸ்டேட் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஒன் லேக் தேர்ட்டி தௌசண்ட் செகண்ட் எஸ்டேட் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஒன் லேக் டென் தௌசண்ட் தேர்ட் எஸ்டேட் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் மோர் தென் டுவெண்ட்டி லேக் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் லேக்ஸ் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் அப்ப மூணு எஸ்டேட் இருக்காங்க ஆனா மூணு எஸ்டேட் இருந்தாலும் பீப்புள்ஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் மாதிரி ஓட் இருக்கணும் இல்லையா ஆனா பீப்புள் ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் மாதிரி ஓட்டிங்கே கிடையாது ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எஸ்டேட்டுக்கு ஒரு ஓட் செகண்ட் எஸ்டேட்டுக்கு ஒரு ஓட் தேர்ட் எஸ்டேட்டுக்கு ஒரு ஓட் அப்ப டோட்டலா மூணு ஓட் தான் தேர்ட் எஸ்டேட் பீப்புள்ஸ் அதிகமா இருந்தாலும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் செகண்ட் எஸ்டேட் என்ன பண்ணுவாங்க அப்படின்னா அவங்க என்னதான் அவங்க டிமாண்ட்ஸ் வச்சாலும் இந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் செகண்ட் எஸ்டேட் தே கேன் ஓவர் ஹைட் தட் டிமாண்ட் ஸோ இதான் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க த ஈச் எஸ்டேட் ஹேட் ஒன் ஓட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் செகண்ட் எஸ்டேட் குட் ஆப்ரேட் அஸ் அ பிளாக் டு ஸ்டாப் த தேர்ட் எஸ்டேட் ஹேவிங் இட்ஸ் ஓன் வே ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி வந்து பார்க்கும் பொழுது வேணும் இந்த எஸ்டேட் ஜென்ரல் மீட்டிங்ஸ் வாஸ் கன்வீன் தெர் வாஸ் அ டெட் லாக் வாஸ் ரிசல்ட் பிகாஸ் த தேர்ட் எஸ்டேட் இருக்கக்கூடிய பீப்புள் அதிகமா அவங்களோட டிமாண்ட்ஸ் வைக்கிறாங்க ஆனா பட் இட் வாஸ் இட் வாஸ் அ டெட் லாக் it was administrative bottlenecks because the first and second estate avanga free ah vandu paakum bodu enna pannala appadina third estate oda demand ah consider e pannala they were all you know ignoring it and they were all okay you know giving a detail so in the mari time period la you can see the word one vote for 1,30,000 25 lakhs vote for one and one vote for 1,10,000 so in the mari soolnal era tennis court oach the third estate enna pandranga they were all coming out of the estate general meeting the third estate declared it itself to be a national assembly thangala da vandu paakum bodhu or national assembly ya consider pandranga louis 16 responded by locking the third estate out of the meeting in respect to all this the third estate relocated to a nearby tennis court where its members would to stay together and create a written constitution for france okay appo enna nadakkudhu so unmayana raja irundhalo unmayana estate அதாவது ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எஸ்டேட் செகண்ட் எஸ்டேட் இருந்தாலும் இந்த தேர்ட் எஸ்டேட் தங்களை தான் வந்து பார்க்கும் பொழுது பிரான்ஸோடைய இந்த ஒரிஜினல் சிட்டிசன்ஸ் அண்ட் பிரான்ஸோடைய ரியல் சிட்டிசன்ஸ் அண்ட் பிரான்ஸோடைய கான்ஸ்டியூஷனை எழுதணும்னு முடிவு பண்றாங்க ஸோ ஆன் ஜூன் டுவெண்ட்டி தேர்ட் செவன்டீன் எயிட்டி நைன் லூயி சிக்ஸ்டீன் ரிலண்டட் அண்ட் த்ரீ எஸ்டேட் டு கன்வீன் டுகெதர் அண்ட் டு ஆக்ட் ஆஸ் அ நேஷனல் அசம்பிளி ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி எஸ்டேட் திஸ் இஸ் இமேஜஸ் ஐ ஹவ் கிவன் Uh, the tennis court oath by jack lewis and louis david so in the tennis court la da enna panuvaanga appadina they have taken the oath for okay uh, establishing national assembly so national assembly establish panna nu mudivu panuvaanga but enna aagum appadina in countryside okay the things goes very wrong solla pona by you know by by october by july august september by october france la vandu paakum bodhu innum romba worst condition aagum so people enna panuvaanga appadina they are they were they felt you know discomfort they felt this all you know bastel for the destroy man at anger the homes at the okay ruling clan or ruling rulers either to fight one war so it would be the french revolution army puriyadengla so these are all the some of the questions you can review you can see so what was the old regime and how it was how does an absolute monarchy operate so describe the size privileges and exemptions and burdens of the three estate what is deficit spending so these are all the some of the review questions for so part 1 video ends here and in the next video i'm going to tell you how the national assembly functioned and how was the course of the revolution and how the revolution has given rise for napoleon bonaparte so thanks for listening thanks for watching all the best jai